Hi my friends, Cyanide here. Um, this week I posted up a little video of the, um, the rat rods like a um, slideshow of a photo shoot that I did and I figured uh, some viewers that are into the, um, the truck and you know more substantial videos might be feeling a bit jipped so um, I thought I'd uh, just quickly do this little uh, supplement video of the, the dual um, tanker build. So what I thought I'd talk about in this video is the detailing of the track unit, the uh, Fat Betty. Fat Betty is um, I'd always wanted to make this so that I could accessorize it and change uh, its fit outs and uh, make it look different for just make my playtime more entertaining basically and make more interesting videos. So um, in the past I had done the um, the bridge scene from the movie Sorcerer where Fat Betty reenacted a scene in the movie and I made a bunch of accessories uh, for the truck. Um, I put extra headlights on it, I, I made a wooden roof, uh, I removed the doors and a few other bits and pieces to, to give the truck a different look and make it more like the truck in the movie. And um, so I'll be doing the same thing with Fat Betty to give it some of the details that the Peterbilt had in dual. So I've made, so far I've made this here, I'll give you those close-ups of these in a sec. I've made this here which is um, kind of like hangers for the air hoses that go on the back of the tractor unit between the, the tractor unit and the tanker. And also I've made this um, air conditioning unit that will go on the back of the cab where the rear window is uh, to look more like the air conditioning unit of the uh, Peterbilt. In the movie this was empty and they used it to place their uh, movie camera inside so they could get the in-cab in shots. Speaking of the movie, um, what started out as a quick one day build in my mind has pretty much quite quickly turned into an obsession. It happens most times when I start doing these builds. So I've been doing a lot of research on the movie and on the truck and things like that. And the other day I found a really cool interview documentary about the movie interview with Steven Spielberg three part thing. I'll put the links in the description below. And if you're interested in the movie and how it's made and things like that, it's, it's a really cool little um, interview and it's quite interesting to hear how Steven Spielberg approached uh, the filming of the movie and the truck as a character and he talks about it, you know, it, it goes and they do makeup on the truck in the morning as well as the human actors and that to make sure it's all bright and that. It's, it's, it's worth watch, go down and click the links, they're only like 15 minutes each, three parts. So um, some of you may find that interesting. Right, I'll, grow, um, I'll put these on. I just put this on with magnets at the moment and I'll grab the camera and show you. Okay, so I've attached the um, this mount unit here. Um, I've got some uh, air hoses which are made out of uh, the coiled wire from an uh, old pair of headphones. I'll uh, show you that later. And um, at the moment I've just got some little craft magnets in the bit inside this air conditioning unit. So at the moment it's Fat Betty's rear window and uh, you just pop this on here over that cavity. Bada bing, bada boom. Now it's got a, uh, a rusty old air conditioning unit on the back. I'll get the camera off the stand and I'll show you. A bit better. So yeah, that gives it that look. I um, to make it look more like the the truck in the dual movie. So that that'll uh, help get the idea across when I have the tanker on the back. This was made out of some scrap metal. Uh, who knows the usual junk that I use. This part with the um, that has been die cut. That is um, the back of a power supply out of a uh, computer. That's what that came out of. 
So, yeah, that looks apart, you know. I'll um, see if I can find... I got a little bit of footage when I had... when I was testing out the um, ear hoses with the tra trailer. I think it's on the phone and I'll put it on uh, Instagram. I'll, I'll try and grab it and overlay it in this video so you can see it with the ear hoses. Uh, it'll look pretty cool when it's done. But, um... Yeah, this is this is me uh, playing dress up dolls with a truck. Basically, that's how it is to me. I just make accessories and dress the truck up. So um, yeah, I have a great deal of fun doing this. I've got a video. It's a photos, different photos of Fat Betty and various uh, setups. Uh, I'll put a link in the description at the end of the video also, and that shows it. You know. In its various um, costumes, I suppose you call it, when it do different videos. There's a logging truck, as a tipper truck, as a flatbed, as a old army truck. Yeah, she's got many faces, this old girl. So yeah, check that out if you're interested to see how just adding a few little bits and bobs like this can can change a, the visual style of a truck. One last thing I do want to do, though on the accessory side for the truck is that grill there it's totally not the style of grill that um, the Pete has in the movie so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some either I don't know tin or some thin bits of silver metal and do horizontal it would be removable it's not going to be permanent by any stretch but I'll put a little fake uh, uh, front grill here that looks more like the style of the peat so even though it's not a peat it'll still have more of the um, aesthetic of the original truck and um, yeah just little things yeah just details I like them eh? I had another idea last night well, I think it's a really cool idea full disclosure I had been at my mate's place and we had had a few beersies and um, so my imagination was running wild when I got home but I have to take you inside to the hobby room to show you this idea okay so down in this pile of stuff on the shelf here I've got some old race cars from when I was uh, racing so I'm going to grab this take this off the roof, grab this and I'll show you what I'm thinking here so this is a, um, a street stock this is a class RC class of racing we have here in New Zealand. It's um, the full metal. These bash bars are there for a reason. It's full contact oval racing. I race these. Uh, I, I don't race these anymore. I um, stopped racing when I was diagnosed with cancer and went through all that hoo-ha and I just never went back to it. I've been racing these for over three years and um, you can only drive around in a circle so long before it gets a wee bit boring, even with the beatings. But this car, it's just sitting there gathering dust. I did two seasons in this car. Prior to that I was using a 57 Chevy, which I much preferred. But uh, changes in the rules to the uh, vehicles meant that was no longer legal. It wouldn't pass inspection. So rather than modify the Chevy, I um, I just built another car. It's a good excuse to get out in the shed. But this is a dust collector now. Uh, inside is a TTO one. I stole the speed controller and the receiver to put into the tow truck rat rod there so it's missing some go parts but I've got some other stuff in boxes that I can put in here but my thinking for this is that this is a pretty square uh, looking body and I think I might be able to get away with turning this into the Valiant the Red Valiant so because I'm not racing this and I have no intentions of going back into the racing, I'm, what I'm thinking I'm going to do is cut these steel bash bars off the front here and also off the back give this a coat of white base paint and then hit it with red and this can be my Valiant um, 
it's not a Valiant, it's not anything, it's a gen generic sedan, but um, what I might do is I'll have a look at the movie clips again, get an idea of what the grill should look like. Now once I cut these bars off, sorry I should mention is, I'll make some just generic bumpers out of, um, I don't know, biscuit tins or something, I'll find something. And the grill, I'll just paint a stencil on to make it look like this, um, the grill in the of the Valiant in the movie, or I'll I'll make some some mesh uh, fine sheet, I should say, and just stick it on the front. And that'll be a good uh, reuse of this old body and this running gear, because how it's been sitting on the shelf for over five years, mate, zero use. So it'll be cool to have this um, in front of the in front of the truck. I'm not too worried, I'm not going to get too carried away with this. It's a boxy red car and that'll be close enough. If anyone sees it they'll know exactly what it's meant to be. This is just an accessory, you know. The truck is the uh, the hero. So um, it'll be fun to get this out. I don't even know if I'm going to bother panel beating it back out. I might just leave it all rough like this and just paint it. We'll call it uh, Valiant in the last scenes of the movie or something after it's had its ass kicked by the truck a few times And um, knowing me I won't be able to resist driving into this with the truck anyway So um, yeah, that, that was my little drunken fucking light bulb that I had the other night And um, I'm keen, I'm keen So it'll be a good, good fun to put this in there I'd like to um, take... Uh, fat Betty dressed up as the dual truck and this to the um, um, truck show uh, next year in 2020 um, I think it'll be pretty cool I think people will, will dig it so um, that's what I'm leaning towards if I can get my mate to drive this and I'll drive the truck behind it and yeah it'll be fun I'm sure they'll appreciate it so that's uh that's where I'm heading with the details on Fat Betty, uh, peripheral details for the dual tanker build. And um, yeah, we'll have more dual tanker build videos coming up. That's still a work in progress, but I think this is going to be fun. And this shouldn't take too much to turn into a Valiant-esque looking little car. Because it's no, no longer used for racing, I don't need to consume myself with weight limits and things like that so I'm going to put a kind of a fake interior in here bench seats and put a little man in there to be my little uh, David I think his name was in the movie character oh yeah this is this is broken off on the A pillar at the heat affected zone I'll, I'll put a wee weld on there and what else is going on in this thing it won't matter because of what I'm using it for but there's a a bar across the back here that's busted off there so yeah she, it's had some it's had its ass whooped this car but I will say one thing if you look at the back she's got a fair whack of damage there so she had been hit many times but if you look at the front it has way more damage for me that's a good thing because this is the given end and the ass is the receiving end, so this old girl was giving it more than she was receiving it. <laughs> I like to think so anyway. Alright guys, next time you see this, I don't know if I'll do a video series on this, I mean it's cut shit off and spray paint it. Nothing to it, it's an old build. But uh, yeah, we'll catch you on the next one anyway. I think I mentioned everything I was planning to mention in this video. Yeah, it don't matter none. I couldn't leave you hanging like that, bros. I've cut off the uh, the bash bars off this car. Um, and I have actually panel beaded it, believe it or not. Speedway panel beat, not concourse car panel beat, by the way. I plug welded some holes here that were for uh, tail lights. It had three here, three here, kind of Impala kind of styles. So I plugged those, and then I can put a upright tail light here and here, like the Valiant has. 
and I just got to make a bumper for the back so that's all done on the front I um, reshaped this grill here that used to come out like a peak at this in the center here like a Lincoln I guess so um, what I did is I reshaped this mesh you probably can't see it because it, it's just so rough at the moment but it's got this it protrudes there you go see the light reflecting it's got a square protrusion at the front now which is how the grill and the Valiant looked uh, so next for the front is uh, I've got some of this some more of this mesh scrap so what I'm going to do where the double barrel headlights are I'll leave that one there because the Valiant has singles and here I'm going to put a bit of mesh over that just out to that light to cover that uh, and that'll cover that hole I'll probably put a bolt here or something that because this is where the indicator is or reflector so I can attach it like that and then then um, just have a wee wire thing on this side I didn't panel beat this side here in the movie that's this is the side that the um, the Valiant gets smashed up when it hits the uh, the embankment when it gets ran off the road by the truck so I left this with the the damage it had from racing and I'll put another one on this side but I'll you know tweak it and bend it and then I'm thinking I might wrap around the grill using um, push bite spokes just to give it the frame, grill frame. So that should look pretty um, valiant esque by the time I do that. It'll have enough visual clues, I think, at that stage. So I'm real keen to paint this because while it looks so motley like this, it's hard to see it real hard, you probably just see the same grill it had before but um, yeah, I like painting so I'm getting all impatient I don't think I need to put these on before I paint it, you know I can do the black later for the grill so I might just hit it with the white undercoat and then I'll, you know, then I'll have a, a blank canvas and we can look at it then So there it is with a couple of coats of white paint on it to pretty much make it a blank canvas. Um, mainly for the, what I'm going to do on the front here. I've got bugger all red paint left. This is almost empty. But I think between this and these almost empty uh, Tarnia cans, I should be okay. So, and now you can see the way that grill is a bit better so while this was drying I went and had a look at some photos of the Valiant from screenshots in the movie and despite my best efforts I'm starting to obsess over details so I think I need to change this bit down here a little bit with between the bumper and the grill I'll probably just put a piece of aluminium tape across there so it's not mesh below the grill and between the uh, bumper so I'll get this back out into the front part of the workshop and I'll work out my grill height and then I can put some alloy tape there give that a wee bit of white um, and that should be it I think it's, I'd like to get this to read today we'll see it's about three quarter past three now in the Arvo really hot so this paint dried real quick it's good
bad. It makes it a bit harsh to be out in a workshop. Anyway, um, I'm going to keep on tinkering with the camera off, turn my radio on, and um, I'll get back to you when I'm hitting it with red. So there it is guys, um, ran out of red paint, so, or the Dulux paint at least, so I'll probably, um, I'll probably have to touch it up with the uh, Tamiya red, and it probably won't colour match, which is a bit of a bum steer, but not to worry. I see my um, repair here, where it's cracked on the um, A-pillar didn't work, I did the old do a quick tack on the inside but I forgot to turn the gas on and um, I thought it would hold but nah so the gorgeous red paint's gonna get ruined there I still need to paint this black and I've got these cut out now I've got a couple of them so I'll attach these here like this I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that because my big old hands in the way, but it'll go all the way across and that'll all be black all the way across, so that'll look more like the um, the Valiant. Still got to put the bumpers on. So that's pretty much it for this. It'll look alright I think when it's done. That's the back. So I'll, I'll just attach some little um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do the indicators out of yet. I'll put those on the back here. There's also a chrome trim along here on the Valiant. So I'll just stick a bit of um, aluminium tape there to be the trim. Uh, yeah, and do the work on the front grille to make it look Valiant-esque. And that'll be it. Should be done. Oh, and the interior. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this. Something a little bit different. Uh, we'll catch you on the next one. See you later.